Okay, guys. What we got here is a General Pump TS-1511. Basically, it's the same as the TS-2021. And I'm about to uh, reseal it. And um, I already took off the old seals, which were pretty bad. And I'm about to put the new ones in. But first, my advice is before you start putting uh, seals in it, you always have to check the manifold if it's not pitted or anything you know wrong with it the inside right here you can just kind of put your finger in here and just kind of go you know you can kind of feel if it's if it's pretty smooth then you're good to go but if you feel like it's pitted then it's not gonna work it's gonna you're gonna ruin your seals right quick you're gonna have some uh, water leaking and a whole bunch of uh, you know problems going in water going in the oil and stuff so this one's uh, feels pretty good so it's basically uh, not the first here uh, maybe the second part there's a second part where the first seals sit there's where you have to feel not the second one the second one pretty much it's just a, a brass part that goes there so first you start you know with a I always start in the middle the middle one so this is the uh, the restock ring, I guess it is, and you're just gonna sit it in there, and then the next one is gonna be the uh, the brown one. So you know, just kind of try to put it in there. It'll go kind of kind of push it all the way in until you feel it. It's all the way in, and then. There's a, the other one, it's a black one here. So that one's gonna be the next one. Let's see, that's it. So we're gonna do the same with the other two. And let's see. There's there's gonna be one, an, uh, another one, it's gonna be the last one. The, that one's gonna go into the uh, the very last part the very last part, uh, the brass part. Let's see. Sometimes if you can't get it in there, you're probably gonna have to use a screwdriver, like a flathead, and just kind of like help it in and just kind of push it in slowly. Just make sure you don't, you don't uh, ruin the seal. And uh, Basically this, all this takes like at least from for, from where you start taking the manifold off, the hoses and everything, you're probably talking about maybe one hour. I mean, if you're gonna do it right, you know, make sure that the, the real important part of this is just making sure that the seals are put right in the manifold. That way, when you put the manifold back to the to the head, to the uh, I'm sorry, to the uh, to the crankcase, it'll just go easily in, and you won't have to uh, you know take it off and see what's going on. Because once you once you put these seals in, if you try to take them off, you're gonna ruin them. Why? Because uh, unless you have a special tool, there's some special tools that you can use. You can take them off, but sometimes, even when you put them in, you gotta hit them with the uh, with I have a mallet, and they go in tight. So if they go in tight, then you're gonna have problems taking them taking them out. So I use a pulley, and every time that I take them off, you ruin them. You 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 know you crack them or something. So make sure you put them right. That way you don't have to come back and try to take them off again to put them right or whatever so um so your next part is going to be this one right here this is a brat a brass part so this this is gonna sit right on top of this but it sometimes it just doesn't want to go in due to uh it's got a lot of dirt right on this edge right here so if 
if it doesn't want to go in you might want to get a uh, sand it a little bit or kind of use a wire brush and, and and clean it out real nice and then it'll go inside it'll go easily in you don't want to you don't want to scrape the walls right here um you see this one went in easily there you go yeah there you go you, you know it'll sit right and then it's good to go so that one's good let me try another one there you go that's the second one and there you go third one all right so we're good so now the third seal is gonna go in this last part this last part is the one that have a o-ring right here and this one somehow somebody someone put the uh the seals wrong so this one has a one of the brown seals the old seals which is this one doesn't this is this seal doesn't go there so i'm gonna have to pull it out and put this is the last seal that goes there so i'm gonna come back and make sure that they're put right okay guys um i already kind of cleaned the um the last part the brass part so I had to kind of sand them a little bit, sand them out a little bit, and that way I won't have any problems putting them in. So this this part right here is the last seal that goes. So you just stick it in there and just kind of press it in. That's it. So let's see. There's nothing wrong if you have to put a little bit of, um, you know, maybe lubricant or maybe wd-40 or something in here just to make sure that it'll go all the way in so you just kind of probably look for the the best the best uh place to put them so let's see this is the, the other one here just kind of put that other seal snaps right in see that okay okay we just kind of see where it fits better right there all right we're still gonna have to kind of put them in hit them a little bit with a with a mallet so See, that's the problem sometimes. They just don't want to go in, but you don't want to force it in, you know, unless it goes straight. And then, yeah, you, it'll be all right. But this is the thing. If you put it in forcibly, then the day you need to take them off, you're going to struggle. There you go. So now I'm just going to, I'm just going to worry about making sure that O-ring right there goes inside because that's that's the seal unfortunately the seal kit doesn't doesn't come with that uh o-ring right there so let me get my mallet and see if i can kind of push it in there hit it a little bit actually i can kind of push it with my with my fingers and see if they go in no way they're tight as hell so let's see kind of move this a little bit all right guys I'm back with this uh, general pump TS 1511 so the conclusion is that I couldn't get the very last piece the brass part all the way in Due to that, uh, this is a real old pump, probably one of the first ones or something. But um, so the re the the seal kit for this pump included 
this red ring right here this ring replaces the restop ring which is the black one this one right here so that's why it, it this is taking too much space and it, it didn't let me put all the way in the brass part so um, supposedly this this ring right here sits on top of the the dark brown seal the high pressure seal so let's see if that's right so I already got this heart one the heart ring in so let's put this the brown one the high pressure seal all right and then it's this one right here that just sits on top of it they kind of put it in there actually I guess if you're gonna do a pump like this you probably gonna use the black restop ring this one that on top of that high pressure seal the dark brown one why because this is a this is a old pump and then they this part here is the next part which is the brass part so on the new pumps this part right here it's not as thick as this one it's skinnier so that's why if I put that restop ring there on top it's, everything's not gonna fit right so so already put that red ring in there so now it's this one in there just goes all the way in Yes. Let's see, let me see. Let me make sure that it's going all the way in. Yeah, it looks like it's all the way in. So I'm just gonna try to press this as all the way down. I guess that's it. There we go. Oh, there you go, right there. Okay. All right. Sometimes if it doesn't want to work, it doesn't want to go all the way in. You can use always use a socket. Just kind of put it like use the flat part of it. That way you won't damage the brass part. And just kind of put it in the middle, and then just you know use any small hammer or anything like a mallet or something, and just kind of hit it. I'm gonna move this a little bit. Just kind of hit it in the, in the middle, in the center. Uh, you can feel it's already all the way in, so you're good to go. Now, this is my last part right here, this breast part. I already put that uh, last low pressure seal. So now let's see if it's going to go all the way. There you go, see? We're good to go. All right. So I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Heart, the heart one. Then it's the high pressure brown seal. Okay, and then it's this one right here. All right, it's going to go on top. Then our brass part here, this I think this ring is called intermediate ring, made of brass. All right, all right. I guess I'm gonna have to use my my socket once again just to make sure it goes all the way in. It's in. All right, let's see. Let's see, good. Great. All right. All right, let's see. Now we're going to use this one right here.
remember guys this is one of the older general pumps and it's probably your seal kit will be a little different from this one if by any chance your pump has this kind of seals inside the worn out seals and then you order a brand new uh, kit 69 for this pump it's gonna have the the restop ring the black one so you're gonna have to, if you want to use this you're gonna have to change this brass part the intermediate and order the other ones the skinnier ones because then it's not gonna fit so fortunately i i was able to save those red rings there and i can use them again so i'm gonna not use this black one but use those the red ring and then you know just put it as it was before and then, then that should make it work okay let's see yank let's see i hit it a little bit okay that's all the way it's all the way in all right we're good so we're done with this um i'm gonna also put new check valve so let me i'll get back to you guys all right guys so everybody knows how to do this so i already took off the old valves and the o-rings so basically you're just gonna stick this o-ring right all the way down just gonna press it inside all the way and uh Let's just let's put all three o rings first. Just gonna make sure it sits flush down there. Just gonna use your fingers. You can use a uh, if you want. You can always use a uh, a flathead. Yes, I use my fingers because I know I'm. I can assure that they're all the way down. Okay, so now putting the valves in there, just gonna kind of center it and then press it down, and you're gonna feel it's gonna sit right in this in between in this in the middle of the o ring. That way, when you're putting the cap on, it doesn't move around and break, and when you're tying it, it won't break your valve. All right, let's see. All right. All right, we're good to go. Let me put one of those caps on. See the caps, they have all rings but the kit doesn't come with it so make sure kind of go over them and see if they they don't have any rips or anything rips and if they do they're going to you're going to have a water leak through there so um you you're going to have to replace them order them or if they're not that bad but they're kind of you know worn down you can always put some teflon in there right here on the threads it'll help it a little bit but that uh, I don't I don't recommend it as well. So I don't recommend that just in a in an emergency only. Just if you're doing a job and you're in the middle of something and it's leaking through there, so you can just take it off and put Teflon, and, and as soon as you're done, you're gonna have to fix it, man. You can't leave it like that. So, alrighty, I'm gonna tighten this. Same is gonna be the other side. All right, guys, we're gonna do the last part now, and and see if you know this is going to work. It has to work. Oops. The 
looks like I lost an O-ring. Got here, got here. No, I got them all. Yeah. All right, we're good. Same thing. Just gonna press on them. All right, we're good. Caps. By the way, the socket size on this are it's thirty mil. So all right, that's done. Just so you know, my advice to you, if you're gonna use a half inch uh, impact wrench, or I mean, uh, impact gun, make sure you don't over tighten it. Don't put all those 900 foot pounds of torque, cause you're gonna ruin all the thread, either on the manifold or on the uh, cap, or you don't need to tighten them that much, so. Just kind of, you know, snug them in and that's it.